Hey everybody, this is Pajama Prime, back for another Repro Labels preview. Uh, today we're going to be uh, looking at the June update email that I got, which has not that many, so this might actually be a short video. Uh, first what we have is the uh, Springer, or Defender, whatever you want to call it, stickers. These basically turn your classic or your warbot defender and do classic Springer I really want this set really badly because those stickers look awesome it fills in every little detail possible to give him the look of Springer put th those are probably all G1 stickers resized and according to the website fans project actually helped with shaping and designing these stickers which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see you have the Autobot symbol there you have lots of circuitry and a few Autobot symbols, mostly just circuitry, headlights and Autobot symbols predominantly. But it just adds a little something to it. Not Also not to mention the fact that it gives them an Autobot symbol and you don't have to go through un like a an old set of Autobot symbols that are weirdly uh, weirdly stamped on like I have um, but anyway it's just really cool and I totally recommend getting it if you're not if you have some extra money I don't remember the price of it but it's gonna be pretty awesome I definitely intend to get this alright next we have a set for G1 6 gun it's the upgrade set upgrade x5 um, basically this is just extra stickers to give them a bit of a better look uh, you have eyes like in the cartoon I don't know which cartoon he was in definitely one of the Japanese ones maybe I think either I'm guessing zone I don't know I haven't actually watched a lot of them I haven't even gotten through headmasters but anyway so you can have the eyes or you can have this red visor that was in more than meets the eye so I guess I need to read my more than meets the eye um, digital comics but anyway so that's really all it talks about oh there's also a lot of lots of stickers for the tower my bad and some some hand details but there's really not a lot to it other than what's on it uh, already if you have good stickers um, really it's not a, there's not a lot to it and uh, if you're really into it if you have a G16 gun go for it it shouldn't cost that much so here we have a set for G1 overload uh, these are the micromaster transports I believe um, really not much to him just some trailer details and some some robot details there's some silver Autobot symbols on his shoulders some grill detailing little chrome edge um, some detailing on the on the trailer an arrow on the inside of the of the, of the ramp again chrome bumper some chrome detailing and then there's some Optimus Prime esque um, trailer detailing on the side giving a nice big silver stripe and a nice big Autobot symbol there's really not a lot to it now this set for G1 Erector uh, is a bit different there's a lot of stuff here um, first off there's some Autobot symbols uh, there, well there's one uh, both on his there's one on his robot mode and there's one on his trailer um, there's some stickers for the sort of cab section on the crane on the crane also there's a, a some hazard signs uh, some detailing on the on the robot mode and in vehicle mode um, on the grill and on the back and if you can see on the crane under the, the cab detailing there's a little sign that says who's laughing now I guess it's supposed to be nodding at the fact that you all that everyone who thinks of Erector thinks of you know phallic uh, well phallic jokes so it, it's it's funny that they did that um, there's some sort of radar dish on the side here lots of detailing on this in this base mode um, these fans I don't know what the fans are for 
but um, there's also chrome bumper detailing in, on the trailer uh, when it's in gun mode and some sort of no ed I don't know what that is but there looks to be a, a lot of nice little details in here and if you have a G1 Erector go for it it looks like a lot of nice stickers to add to the set now on to your, all your Power Ranger needs we have stickers for the Ninja Zords uh, basically it's just a bunch of little stickers to give them more of a Sentai look um, on the Ape Zord we can see that there is a big well big S details on his chest on his legs some gold detailing gold and black and silver on his legs some gold rings on his arms um, and really that's all it that's it um, on the bear the yellow zord there is a black and red crest um, there is a gold band around the stomach some gold detailing around the forearm four four legs four legs yes and really that's a lot or that's not a lot to it the wolf zord has a these little things on its on it on its shoulders I guess you could call them and its hips uh, these little symbols and really that's it for that zord so there's not a lot on to the crane uh, which is the pink ranger zord or white depending on whether you read this, watch the sentai footage or the power rangers footage um, lots of stickers here really um, too many for me to really get into um, there's also some for the frog zord but uh, there's, op there's an optional set for either pink or red details. Uh, it, I, I guess that's the difference uh, down at the bottom. So yeah, you can go with that, whichever one you want. And really, that's all there is to it. Um, and have at you. Now, finally, we have pictures of the full Megazord, uh, and. The only new stickers we, we're seeing, other than what I've just shown you in the other pictures, uh, it's so, sort of showcasing the Kaku Ranger symbol on the legs of the frog, eight or the Megazord. Um, there's really not a lot to this guy, and if you have a Ninja Megazord and you want him to look more like the Sentai footage, go for it. This is your what you want. Um, I'm not going to stop you, and heck, if it had more articulation, I would love it, but no, sadly it doesn't. So that's all from me, uh, check back next month for another Repro Labels preview. This is Pajama Prime, and I'll talk at you later.